Okay, so a quick tour through the uh, through the the startup settings. Uh, let's see. Well, the only thing on here I think is uh, is click to attack because the uh, the vanilla attacking method of, of dragging your mouse around um, it's just weird, isn't it? Um, let's have a look under advanced. Uh, video perhaps. Ah, so I have fantastic quality level, that's interesting. But um, for performance, I think terrain distance and shadow resolution are probably the most important things. And uh, you can you can toggle some of the shadow settings to, to get better performance here. Here's the uh, the very nice retro rendering mode. Oh yes, dungeon ambient light. That there, uh, that's a good one to play with, and the item-based player torch. I would highly recommend that one. Enhanced combat AI. Well, I think I'm. Uh, <laughs> That would only confuse me at this point. I think in some some mods you cannot compress them. I think I don't know. And um, yeah, that's just the GUI. So that's enough of that. Let's have a look at the mods. Now I <laughs> I'm not an expert on all, on practically anything, but um, I think you have to interpret this as as a, as a load order. So the stuff at the top of the list is loaded first and then it works its way down. So in the end, whatever mods are at the bottom, if there's any kind of, if there's any clash or uh, I don't know, two, two mods are affecting the same thing, then it will be the one at the closest to the bottom that wins, I think. I don't really remember if I changed this sequence at all. I don't know if there is a uh, an optimum way of doing it. So possibly to check out on the uh, on the Daggerfall Unity uh, forum to see if anybody has any suggestions for load order. Um, so the clock, the birds, the sky, grass. Dream, which is the big one. Um, the hand-painted models. Mountains and hills. More hand-painted models. I don't, I don't know what post-processing is. These are all active, with the exception of Trees of Daggerfall. Um, which, although I think, I, I can't remember. We had, a quick, we had a look at it briefly. I think it's quite nice visually, but... Um, the performance hit is um, is fairly extreme, so this is the only one that's turned off. And then the villager immersion is at the bottom because that is the one I installed most recently. So um, yeah, could be something to bear in mind if you have any problems or performance issues and nothing else works. Okay, so that's uh, that's that. This is very nice. Intercomers workshop, very good. I wonder if that will become. Um, <laughs> I wonder if that will be used for other other titles in the future when Intercomers starts working on his um, working on his own stuff. I don't. I don't know how long these new introduction sequences have been, uh, have been, I presume, that is part of Dream. I normally click past it. Anyway, let us continue. Now we're also using um, an, an, an alternative font, 
this is the font made by uh, uh, made by Jehovah. Now, I think I said previously that uh, I tried this, but I didn't. I uh, didn't didn't stick with it. If we have a quick look in the in the quest log, maybe I'm just accustomed to the the original mod, and I, I'm I'm old and frightened by change. I don't know, but. I just find it slight, it's not as comfortable to read. I have to concentrate more to to make sure that I'm reading it properly. I'm pretty sure it's, it's something to do with the letters E and A. <laughs> My brain just struggles for some reason, I don't know why that is. Or possibly the relative size of some of the letters is a bit a bit weird that this E is seems a lot bigger than this H. But um, I imagine if I if I kept with this in time I would come to accept it. Um, the numbers seem fine. This um is that an oblique? This backslash is a little bit odd. It seems to uh, seems to be closer to this than this. But um, yeah, it's, it's it's not important. They're, they're all small, subjective things. What else has been happening? Well, dream dream. The dream mod was updated about maybe about a week ago now. But I'm afraid I can't tell you anything about uh, what changed in that. Unless it was the the introduction animations, but I, I think it would have been more than that. What else has happened? Well, that's all I can remember. So, where are we? This is actually the second attempt to uh, to record this video. The first one was so bad even by my low standards that I just had to scrap uh, scrap all the recordings because it was uh, even I was bored so that tells you how bad it was incredibly there is a tiny hint of quality control um, well although we're here we have picked up a little bit of extra gear we have some funky ebony and adamantium armor Adric Greaves, Adric Sword. I'm not sure I've ever had any Daedric weapons or armor before. Yeah, <laughs> the red and, and gold combination is quite interesting. Anyway, um, I'm tired of doing the regular quests for these um, these ungrateful villagers. Um, I'm more interested in uh, in the war mashes, which is how I shall pronounce it from now on. Uh, the only the only problem with the war mashes is uh, is you have to you have to go out into the wilderness. Now, if you have the uh, the tedious travel mod, which will automate traveling manually across the landscape I think it can interact and uh, you can you can play the encounters as you uh, as, as they pop up but unfortunately for some reason that I don't really understand I don't like the tedious travel concept which means I have to do it manually which is even worse so I'm gonna have to think about that because it doesn't make sense so in the meantime There'll be a little edit until I can trigger a, uh, a random encounter from the wall mashes. What fun. So let's try and get started. Well, you have to be careful what you ask for. Welcome to Gerhard's Guard. Currently this keep is under the control of Urveus. You are welcome to pass through. So... <laughs> Well, hello. This time, uh, 
It's friendly people. Hey, that would have been quite a good ambush if uh, if it had been hostile. You got anything to say? No. Yeah, I would I would put the healer at the front of the party, then behind the healer the archers, and then right at the back I'd have the warriors. That that's exactly how I would arrange the ambushing. Anyway, the only reason we're here is for um, a quest that we've already seen a thousand times, so uh, I'm going to edit that out and we shall continue on our way. I don't think I've ever had to splice so many clips together. But anyway, that's uh, it has to be like this. Well, I, I've tried and failed to uh, to rustle up um, an interesting War Mashes encounter. So we're just going to go back to um, the same thing we do every night. We'll find her at the Queen's Gin. And where would that be? Over there. We're now in um, Dwinnen, Dwinnen, don't, don't know them. Now then. <laughs> Your residence is in infested with monsters. Anyway, we'll, we'll kill your monsters. Maybe we'll find some clothes for you. Um, yeah, this is just... Uh, uh, <laughs> um, we came to Bergwell. I don't know what these places all called the same names. The Heart... the Hearthton Residence. Let's see how you are um, infested. Fun. Have I left the bloody lantern on again? Well, let's wait <laughs> for the infestation to uh, reveal itself then. Come on. Exciting.
I wish they were easy to find. Just appear right where I am, okay? That will do. I mean, how many am I supposed to kill? It's not clear. Well, I'm only going to kill one more because I'm very impatient. So you had better be the last one. No, one last try. Yeah, I assume that's done. pub. This is not a bad idea. Why do you have pink ears, Mr. Horse? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to know where you were keeping those coins. Now then. <laughs> oh, what faces? What stories those faces can tell? Let's go to... Uervi... Uervius. The superior warehouse now. You're lucky this is a small town. Why don't you give me a completely new mission that has never been seen before? <laughs> the Thieves Guild has thieved your... your girlfriend. Or, or boyfriend, it's not clear which. Uh, no, I'm not going to help you. I'm, I'm, yes, you will have to face the kidnappers. Because, um... We've seen that quest. Find me another quest. <laughs> There's only one quest in this village. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to make another edit until I can find something interesting to do. The new cat looks very... startled. Come on, make your noise. Make your noise. <laughs> Forget what I was doing. 
Now we found a doggy. He looks much happier than the cat. Make your noise, little doggy. Come on. Yes, you're very happy. I'm not leaving until you make your noise. Stubborn. Maybe you're intimidated by the horse. Hello, little doggy. How are you? Your, your tongue is quite disturbing at this distance. <laughs> Fine, you win. Now then. Stupid dummy. Give me an interesting quest. Somebody has disappeared. Uh, <laughs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. Um, Gerhard's guard. This sounds vaguely familiar. I'm pretty sure I was there earlier. Trying to, um... Trying to, trying to trigger a, uh, siege event in war mashes. Oh, here we go. <laughs> You get the feeling something is off. Oh dear. Out coming from the fires and pools of blood. Well, that's a, that's a bit of a clue. Come on then. Now I'm this way. Thanks for all the stuff. Ooh, we have a map. I think there'll be a few more. Oh, here we go. Surprised. They call for reinforcements. Oh, that's. <laughs> Seems a little bit cheaty. Time for some uh, healing. Come yeah, on then.
Okay, come on then. You change from bow to sword very quickly. Well done. So what we need now is um I already looted everybody. Ah, right, here we go. A mithril round shield. But the uh yeah. The material quality of a shield is irrelevant. Maybe it's expensive. Oh, hey. Enough is enough. <laughs> ah, the commander of the keep charges into battle. Well, wow. ah, with some friends, no less. Oi. words of the commander before they collapsed. You've won a victory over Gerhardt's guard. Very good. The remaining soldiers will still attack. <laughs> ah, 6,000. Seems quite reasonable. My wagon is full. What a shame. Well, I can't use the corpses as uh, storage places. Well, this is tiresome. I shouldn't have picked up any of the leather, really, should I? Oh well, never mind. So that was cool. That was our first, our first war mashes siege completed. And now it's time to uh, <laughs> to fall into a hole. Time to find this mage's guild. Surely you'll be up here. <laughs> well done. Thinking about it, there are there are some other mods that are installed that do not appear in the mod list, such as, for example, this sword. 
is a is a is a modded sword. I can't remember who did it, so I'm afraid I can't credit you. I think all weapons, except for possibly bows and arrows, and have been um, given this nice high-res upgrade. And of course, there's the uh, the quest packs. I think that's it. The uh, the weapon textures. We've been here. I think there's two two uh, variations of them, and this is the um, slightly smaller file size because <laughs> if you go with the uh, the very large files, you'll notice that changing weapons can take a few seconds. Hey! <laughs> I do not trust you. Prove your intellect. Your appearance is not that of a worthy mage. So I need to see the functioning of your brain instead. That's a shame, it's been a long day. Is there a mages guild hall in Urvavivius? The, the, the letter V and the letter U, they're awfully similar. Anyway, um, I think there is, that's where we got this mission from. <laughs> it's very late at night, it's been a very long day. It's been a very stressful day of watching England defeat New Zealand in the World Cup of One Day Cricket. And I was hoping to just finish the day with some quiet Daggerfall unity, and now you're giving me a maths exam. The next number in this series is 88. Ah. One times two plus two, is it? Eight times four times. 2 is 8 plus 2 is 10, 10 times 2 is 20 plus 2, 22 times 2 is 44 plus 2 is 46, so um, what is 46 times 2? 90 something isn't it? 92, so I don't, I don't think it is 88. <laughs> uh. Atronach is 3. Arch Magister is 4, Ambiguity is 5, therefore Amelioration must be 6. I don't even know what Amelioration means. Amelioration. Is that like to reduce the effect of something? I have no idea. Ambiguity is 5. Is it, this is just madness. We will begin with A. Is that a co A? Ah. I almost want to fail the quest now. Natural Arch. Yeah, why not? <laughs> what are you telling me now then? 
They have failed to retrieve from the project. Um, what about if I... Um... No, no. What if I turn into a werewolf and kill you? I can't even kill you. You snooty git. to my sword. How tiresome. I, I forget where we were. Urvavavius. Of, co of course. Find Urv. Yeah, don't don't like I don't like those questions. Mainly because uh, I didn't get it all right. So I've been shown up. But if I had got all the questions right, then it would have been acceptable. Well. I'm gonna sulk now, and once we've turned this quest in, I think I'm gonna... ...go and do something else. But at least it was a new quest. So that was something. It's six minutes to eleven. You're gonna make oh, fine. We'll, we'll we'll wait an entire hour. <laughs> I left the lantern on again, didn't I? You could at least pay me for the uh, oil. I think we have some things to identify. The Bracer of Friendship. Cast when held, Charisma. Hmm. Well, that is handy. But I prefer these... these other braces. Ah, silence? Meh. Life-stealing? Interesting. It's a shame your sword is iron, though. I think that's everything. I would rather be uh, equipping the shield. I'd rather be equipping my sword. Thank you. Your cart cannot hold any more stuff. Good grief. I guess it is fairly full. Well. Yeah, that's it for now. I hope you all learnt something. <laughs> I, I learnt many things, but I did not learn why amelioration is, uh, is not six. But maybe next time. By all means, um, by all means you can tell me why the answer, what the answer is. I'm almost curious. Anyway. Take care.
Stay safe. I bid thee. Adios. Farewell. Bye bye.